few hours ago, I finished one of the most improbable, bizarre, strange and fun recording sessions that I've ever done. I had the pleasure to record a great drummer, Trevor Lawrence Jr. He worked with, well, everybody. And so far so good, but this was no regular studio recording session by any stretch of imagination. In fact, we were not in a studio, but in a parking spot. And I didn't have fancy microphones or all my gear, but just my laptop and an interface and four dynamic microphones. The interesting part is instead of his amazing DW drum kit, we made Trevor play on a toy drum kit, like toy toy, $40 off of Amazon. And you will see the full footage, the setup, the recording, uh, Trevor playing on the toy drum kit in the UVI plugin video, because that's why we did that for their upcoming plugin that may or may not be released already by the time this video is out. But when I was there, I thought, hey, let's make samples out of this, because this is definitely unique and it might turn out cool. And as often happens in these cases, when you have limitations, limited amount of gear, in this case, the toy drum kit, a parking spot. I was running my system, my portable system off batteries. These drum samples turned out pretty cool and I'm gonna make a pack, the Mixbus TV toy drum kit. I've already exported the raw files for kick, snare, tom, and cymbal. That's what we had in the toy drum kit. But I also wanted to include a processed version of the samples in the pack. And while I was working on it, I thought this could make a cool video. So this is what the video is gonna be, real work. I'm not gonna talk much. The making of the Mixbus TV toy drum kit sample pack. So let's get to it. <laughs> The sample pack is probably gonna be available by the time this video is out. And like I said, it will contain the raw files and the processed files. So uh, let me play you the raw files, which I've already exported. We have four hits for the kick drum. The snare, and we have two hits, center snare. Now that's pretty cool for being a toy kit, a toy snare. He also did a four rim shot. And also a roll and a double tap. Then we have the tom and we have five hits. Four center and a roll. And then we have two hits for the cymbal. toy symbol like this <laughs> and the bell is pretty cool now I've already like I said started to work on the processed and this is the kick drum so I used the SSL cutting a little bit uh, how many 80 B's uh, 400 500 for the kick and then pretty heavy EQ now these are going to be processed samples and then Pro Q3, smack attack for the transient and the tail, arouser for the compression. That makes a difference, huh? And then more Pro Q3. I could actually, now that I'm hearing it here, get a little less cut here. And now for the uh, low end, I was trying, and then I stopped to film this video, either low air or max bass, one of the two. Let me hear this on my main monitors. Without with low air instead. Holy cow, <laughs> that's low end. All right, I like low air better. I don't wanna exaggerate this, so let me dial it in. I'm exaggerating, I wanna hear it well. Let me try the low air instead of low. I 
I kind of like the low air. Let me take a look at the analyzer though. I don't want to take too much space down there. All right, before doing that, let me try my usual trick with the SSL. If regular EQ works, that might be better than the psychoacoustic processor. I mean, it's not bad. Let me take a look where we get there. It's not bad. Let me see low air instead. You know what? I'm going to do I'm going to split the difference. I'm going to put a little bit of SSL and a little bit of low air. That's okay. I like it. So we call this one a day for, for the, the kick drum. Let's hear the other hard kick. All right, that's cool. And let's hear the soft one. All right, so I'm going to commit and export these files as the process kick drum. All right, we're running the session at 24 bits, 48 hertz for the sample rate. And these are the format the uh, samples are going to be at. Now let's work on the snare, the two hits. Let's give it a little bit of compression. Sounds pretty good already. It's a toy kit, but let's see. Can definitely clean a little bit there and add a little bit of saturation let's see what we have tone empire i think all right i like that and uh let's add a little bit of compression now for snare let me try a few things let me try the api 2500 first It's a little too beefy. Let me try another compressor. I don't like the API on this snare. Let me try the soft tube, the dynamite. Yeah, it definitely, uh, I need, if I want compression to give it a little high end you know inject a little high end back it kind of dulls it a little too much definitely it does let me try parallel compression here the slam version with the mix wet knob and see how that sounds that's better That's better, I like it. Let's compare with the CLA. I still like the Dynamite slightly better. Try something else. I just wanna give you guys like stuff that I actually worked on and you know, spend time, not just the first thing that I 
that I found and throw out a compressor. All right, a rouser usually works. I don't like it in this case. Yeah, I'm gonna settle for the dynamite, definitely. And let me see if I want to add a little bit of a cue after it or not. No, I actually like it. I will keep that slightly boost on the top end, but I will keep the 500. When you mix it, you will decide. <laughs> yeah, I like the little boost. Let's see if the settings work for the others. The rim shots are gonna be fine. The only thing that I wanna change is the roll. Let's see. I think we have a little too much of this. There's a ring in somewhere. All right, so these two are not gonna be in these two samples. We're gonna print these on a new track. Toy drum kit snare processed. And I'm gonna print it because it's easier because I already exported the raw samples. Already have the fade outs and fade in and they're already cut to length. So print the first. Print the second. All right, and now for the roll, we are going to activate the cuts that we did and print the roll. Bam, there you go, snare is done. I hope you will like these samples. They are pretty cool. Like, you will see the video uh, when you see the, <laughs> the drum kit that Trevor had to play. It's pretty funny uh, that these came out like this, this cool and um, definitely are something unusual and special. So let's get to the Tom. Tom should be fairly easy. These are the raw files and they sound pretty cool to me. So I will not really mess with them that much. I will work on the hits. These are actually really, really good. I'm gonna shelve this. I don't wanna kill the low end. Low end on toms, it doesn't hurt, even if it's a toy tom. All right, let's just take care. They have all the snap in the world, so I don't think I need compression. I'll just try some, a little bit of harmonic. Saturate is fairly transparent. Let me hear it on the mains. With. All right, I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna settle for that maybe a little more color for this uh, what about devil lock old school and I will try again either the isotope tape again or the exciter the capitator could be one all right let's see who wins between these three I'll keep the vitamin in and I actually want to put the K clip and let's put it all the quality up and just eat a little bit of transient. This can be very transparent. Tape, let me change my monitors again. Not much of a difference, decapitator instead.
know too much and too little is like not having it almost at all three bands here and learn you didn't learn how i want so i'm gonna move it by hand that's better this is not needed you are not needed what about two by the top that's it that's what i wanted all right now let's just gain match I like it. All right. The ozone exciter wins as most time does. I'll keep vitamin and let me see how much we clip 1.6. That's fine. And let's reduce this because yeah, we are clipping there. Let's see if all these work for the roll too. It will work. So uh, let's go to another track and let's print it. All right, let's name it. Now there's the last one, the two hits, a bell. There's really not much to process here, but have a little bit of a cue for sure, especially on this one, I will filter them. Definitely I will have to do two different Keep that like that. What about the bell? I'll actually put another EQ there. We have this resonance here. I'm just going to cut it. There you go. Down. And I'm actually going to cut it in 24 and make it a little wider. Yeah, we want it clean. If you want a process version, you want it clean. So I'm just going to cut here or two. All right. So I will try first the enhancer that I'm pretty sure is not going to work, but I want to try anyway. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just the shift is strange on this one. See, it, it does that. It's just it's a little bit of like shift in there that I'm not a fan of. But um, I like Tone Empire again. Black EQ has a nice air bend. Yeah, it's fine. It will work. So this is the bell. Let's see if these settings are working for the symbol too. Uh, I think, okay, let me print the bell first before messing around with anything else. And now for this one, which is okay, which is okay. Let me hear on the mains. Now, this EQ is what I don't, I'm not sure. I might turn the cut a little less than this. Yeah, I, I think it's the, what makes it interesting is the kind of gongy sound. So let me also try not to cut. That's pretty inaudible, but I will still leave it about 50. Yeah, you know, it's it's what makes it interesting and you still have the raw files. Let me see the black EQ with them without. I think I'm not gonna cut here and here. 
I'm just gonna leave the air band. Yeah, and that's gonna be it. And let's print it. All right, after several tries, I decided to add an ambient uh, set of samples as well. There's nothing more personal and mix related than reverbs and delays, but it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. You have it there. If you like it, you use it. Otherwise you have all the dries. I work on the snare. I tried several plugins, several settings, several impulses, and I landed on my TC Electronic 8210 which is this processor here, if you can see it. Uh, I also tried the DVR-250. I like the AT210 uh, better. So I will just print this. I think this reverb ambient will translate also to for the other samples, but I don't see why not. But let me check here. Early color, diffuse. I can try a little more diffuse. Yeah. Let's do a 40%. It sounds good. Let me see on the main. Sounds good. This reverb sounds really good. <laughs> uh, as you can see, this is the interface. This is the plugin TC8210 from TC Electronic. I have all of them. You see only three of them. I actually also have the delay, the 2290, which I forgot to hook. <laughs> up but i will i have all of them they're great effects so this one will require more attention because we need to catch the tail of the reverb cool it's not too long i didn't want you know a sea of reverb on it <laughs> now I'll just i'm just gonna transfer this to the kick drum yeah for this one, I will just lower the wet dry for the kick. Cool, 25% works. That's a cool hit, by the way. Let's transfer this to the tom. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, there was a blip in it. Pro Tools. Blip again. I'm so glad that I'm using my main monitors for this. Like, <laughs> this kind of details. Uh, on on other monitors, they, I wouldn't notice it. These monitors, even and I'm and I'm working out very very low volume, but the eaves are so detailed. It's incredible for um, monitors this size to be this precise. For this one, I can definitely go back to 40, 50 percent, 40 percent that it was on the snare, just to have it nice and stereo. Folder, and we are done. This was probably the most boring video <laughs> ever, but this was a real work day. I had to do it anyway, so might as well turn on the camera and see if uh, an interesting video could have been made. I don't, like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna publish it or not or bits and pieces, but this was the MixWest TV toy drum kit making off for the processed files. And um, the pack is gonna be available by the time this video is out, or if not, it's gonna be available uh, shortly after this video. I hope the video was useful. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Thank you for watching. Follow Mixwest TV on Instagram and Facebook. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe out there. See you next time.